These people look forward to seeing me make every day, every day. Belinda Felder is the assistant coordinator for the Safety First Syringe Exchange Program in Syracuse. The goal is to prevent the spread of HIV and hepatitis C. And to Felder, the effort is personal. Her uncle was a drug user and he died after contracting HIV. I'm just compassionate about making sure that people are not in harm's way. The Safety First van travels throughout the city, giving out new clean syringes to everyone from diabetics without health insurance to drug users. We also give them supplies as far as cotton, cotton swabs, um, waters, and we have sailing in water. We have caps, band-aids. The program has been going on since December and already about 100 people have signed up and received registration cards. We take dirty needles in and give people clean needles. And then but programs like Safety First have received criticism. Some opponents fear syringe exchanges encourage drug use and use public funding to do it. In this case, it's $320,000 from the state health department. But officials say critics need to consider the cost of illnesses like HIV. Whether it's in health care, medical care, loss of work time, it's enormous cost when people are infected with these diseases. And I think it counterbalances the people with misgivings. These are our supplies. And for workers like Felder who have experienced a loss, if a clean syringe can save a life, it's worth it. Jessica Kane. Reporting.